What's going on you guys? This is Ryan back again with another video and today we're going to be showing you the lineup and a gameplay for my pack and play series. So you saw me open up the two pack, well you saw me open up the two parts of packs, I opened up 10 packs and of course I'm going to use every single one of those cards on my team and play head to head seasons games. Well we're going to go ahead and show you what the lineup was after we went ahead and sorted it all out and made ourselves a nice little lineup. We have Jordan Gross, uh, James Carpenter was a pickup because I did not have a left guard and I mean he's okay at strength and run block strength but He's terrible at pass blocking, impact blocking, and, you know, just overall um, not going to be a very good player. I don't even think he has very much speed. He can't pull or no acceleration. Uh, Max Unger, Mike Brizzle, uh, Anthony Collins. So the offensive line is, I guess, decent. Um, it's not absolutely atrocious like most of this team is, but I'm going to try to work with it. Uh, we got Henry Hynoski, uh, Walter Payton with Bryce Brown. Walter Payton, rookie, by the way. With uh, Bronze, Bryce Brown, probably going to be my backup. 91 speed, 75 carrying. That's not good. Uh, 86 trucking, 76 elusiveness. So eh, I guess it's going to be okay if we can get to the outside or maybe um, get a truck in with uh, Bryce Brown. That would be pretty funny. Um, Brandon Marshall, Chris Gibbons, and Keyshawn Martin are my wide receivers. Uh, Rob Gronkowski, top 100, is my tight end. And Matt Ryan, top 100, is my quarterback. Um... And I looked at through his stats. His accuracy really isn't that bad, so he might be okay to use for little short passes, which I'm probably going to have to do. Um, just nickel and dime my way down the field. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do with that. And then Terrell Suggs and Jason Pierre-Paul being my pass rushers primarily off the outside. Um, nothing too spectacular, but much better than what I could end up having if I put like Mario Williams. Um, his block shed isn't very good in comparison to Terrell Suggs who doesn't have much better, but he does have decent speed, and that 78 block shed will help. The 86 strength, he should be able to generate some sort of pass rush. Uh, and then we got Jason Pierre-Paul, again, um, might be able to generate something. Uh, Ian Williams and um, Brandon McKinney are my defensive tackles. You know I love Brandon McKinney. Uh, we got Cole Misi, Curtis Lofton, Pernell McPhee, and Danny Trevathan at linebacker. Uh, probably not going to be able to stop the run. Gonna have to work on something there. Hopefully, we pull some sort of good linebacker if we can win a game. And then the secondary, we have Morris Claiborne, Tommy Campbell. Uh, we have, I think his name is Alan Ball, and he's terrible. <laughs> Rodney McLeod, or McLeod, 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 whatever the hell you want to call him, uh, is our free safety, and he's not very good at all. 81 speed, uh, 70 zone. I may end up just putting like Daniels here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put Daniels there. He's definitely better. And then Bernard Pollard, which is our only bright spot on defense. Him and Morris Claiborne. I'm not going to shit on Morris Claiborne. He is pretty decent. 90 speed, 89 man, 80 zone. So we might be able to make some plays with him. But uh, my most of my tackling is going to go through Bernard Pollard. And maybe we can get our hands on the ball, get some picks. Um, I'm going to have to have a lot of good user skill to be able to win games with this team for sure. Uh, and then Hauschka and Bryant Anger. You're going to see a lot of these guys. These guys are going to be the MVPs of some games if we win because, uh, you know, I'm going to have to be kicking a lot of field goals and pinning them deep uh, with punts because I'm not going to be able to move the ball that well. And then, of course, we have Tom Coughlin as our coach. We're playing at MetLife Stadium. Our offensive playbook is Kansas City. Defense is Tampa Bay. Home uniform is the San Francisco 49ers, and our away uniform is the New England Patriots. So let's go ahead and stop talking about what my team is, and let's go ahead and get into a gameplay. And I'm probably going to get destroyed game one, but let's go ahead and see what happens. So yeah, guys, I just got done playing the game, and I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything, but I definitely need to play a little bit more and try to get you know some wins going because um, it's going to get rough real quick if I can't get you know gelled together with this team. And I do still want to continue to push forward and try to win a game. So um, definitely it's going to be a grind. And I think this series is going to be really, really fun. So uh, you're going to see right off the bat that we're able to move the ball somewhat um, effectively. Um, but it all starts to go downhill real quick. Uh, we get frozen up here. Don't know exactly what to do. Should I throw it away? Should I not? And he just comes so quick that I couldn't even make that decision. Uh, Chris Givens tries to catch the ball in traffic. Not going to happen. Uh, and then we get a taste of what's to come from his team. Now, mind you, he has like a 99 at almost every position on the field. Uh, besides, I think, Demarius Thomas on the other side. Um, so, I mean, I, I knew going into the game I wasn't going to win. But I just wanted to do my best and see what could happen, see what I could make the score. And even with that mindset, I don't think it's it was a very much help at all. Uh, we do get a nice pick here with Morris Claiborne. 
Uh, I did something stupid with uh, Bernard Pollard. I thought he was going to run for some reason, and I kind of froze up and didn't play my deep zone, which I should have. Almost got burned, but thankfully Claiborne was able to make the play. Um, and then right here, I guess he was the defensive end. I think he was user controlling him, and it kind of looked like he was going after the running back, uh, but he ended up coming after me. So good play by him. Uh, Chris Givens again, nice play downfield. Uh, he's actually able to catch the ball, which is surprising to me. I thought he would drop it a lot. And then again, we get sacked. So we're not able to make the right decisions right now uh, with Matt Ryan. I Usually I'm so used to being able to just scramble around with my quarterback, get away from sacks, and I can't do that with Matt Ryan. And then once I start thinking about, oh, I should probably throw it away, I'm already sacked. So that's why I'm getting sacked like that. Uh, and it, go it all goes downhill here. You can see we're two minutes left before halftime. Donald Penn goes downfield, gets a nice block, and AP takes it in for a touchdown. So... Uh, I was pretty pissed off about that, but I was confident I can go downfield and eventually score. And this pretty much just put me uh, put me down, and I wasn't able to get back up from right here. This is the play. Uh, Chris Givens, nice play. I thought I was going to be able to break free, but we end up fumbling. He gets the ball, and it just just not a good situation for me. Goes deep. Um, and then we, again, we get a nice pick and I was so pumped up about that, but take a look at what Madden decided to do to me. We get a safety for that. I was so pumped up. I was able to get the ball back and, uh, potentially, you know, um, do something with it, but, um, ends up getting the safety. And then Devin Hester decides to go, you know, just beast mode on me and return a free kick for a touchdown. So I'm not going to show you the rest of the game. I pretty much, you know, rage quit. Uh, and started playing like an idiot for most of the rest of the game. Um, as you can see there, a stupid play by me. Ends up throwing a pick six. And at that point, I think I was pretty much done. I just wanted to throw the ball deep and try to, you know, get something going. And it just didn't work. We got blown out 54 nothing, as you saw the final score. But I promise you guys, I am going to start winning some games. Um, I'm going to try as hard as I can to win my second game and get a good pool to make my team a little bit better. Hopefully we get a better running back. That's going to help me so much. And then maybe we can get lucky with like a Cam Newton gold pool or a Colin Kaepernick or something that will help me even more on offense because I definitely need a lot of help. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.